Good afternoon and welcome to another Senator Shope Snapshot of the Week. We're uh, well into the legislative session and we are heavy into hearing how, uh, Senate bills in the House and House bills in the Senate. Uh, many of them have been voted on throughout the week and we are really getting into uh, the time where so much uh, activity is going on, it's almost hard to keep track of all the bills that are happening uh, and passing uh, and being voted on in the various committees. Next week will be the final week to hear uh, bills in uh, the various committees in both the House and Senate. So it'll be a very busy week next week as well. Wanted to talk about one bill that was heard in House Education just the other day, and that was my Senate Bill 1572, dealing with early li literacy. Uh, and we have some new language in there dealing with a, a little bit of dyslexia uh, issues. And we look forward to that being heard on the ha House floor. It did pass the House Ed, uh, Committee uh, with a good vote, and I look forward to hearing the debate. I think it's uh, one of those things, I've mentioned it before, where we're gonna give teachers and our educators uh, and mainly our students more tools, uh, especially when dealing with the K through three population that move on when reading, uh, which was, has been a successful program passed by the state of Arizona over the last several years. So I look forward to seeing that activity move forward. One of the other big things we did this week on a Wednesday, I had the chance to be the, the main speaker for the Coolidge Chamber of Commerce. We spent about 45 minutes together talking about the various issues that are occurring, not just uh, in the state of Arizona, uh, but uh, elsewhere as well. And uh, just brought to mind that in a COVID world, we don't get those opportunities as often uh, to get in touch with our constituents and to speak to groups. So if you have a group like the Chamber, uh, uh, one of your uh, community organizations or what have you would like to have me come and speak to you at some point, whether it's virtually or in person, uh, feel free to reach out to us. The email address is provided uh, on our uh, snapshot of the week uh, link and look forward to hearing from you if you'd like me to come out and see you. Uh, with that, look forward to another weekend of adventures out in LD8. The weather's going to be great and I look forward to seeing you right back here next week when we have another show snapshot of the week. Take care.